All right, so we're going to look at example eight today, sketching a piecewise defined function. So a piecewise function is like a function that has pieces of it. So looking at example 55, for when x is less than zero, we're looking at this equation here. When x is greater than zero, our graph is going to have this type of shape from this equation, the second one. So, in order to graph our graphs, we need to plug in points. Anybody know what shape this first piece is going to have? 2x plus 3. What shape of a graph? Linear, yes. Shape of a graph. It's going to be linear. So we know it's going to be linear. First thing we want to do is plug in whatever restriction it gives us. So it says x is less than 0. We want to plug in that number 0. So we plug in whatever it tells us to. So we have 2 times 0 plus 3, which is 3. So I plugged in 0 and got 3. That's my first point on my graph. Now one thing that we have to look out for, if it's a greater than or less than sign, our graph is going to have an open circle at that point that it tells us. If it's a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to sign, it'll have a closed circle at that point. So at the point 0, 3, do we have an open circle or closed circle? An open circle because this is a less than sign. There's no equal to, so it's an open circle. So we're going to go to our graph, stay on 0, go up 3, put an open circle there. Now we know our graph has a linear shape. In order to see what direction that line's going to go, it'll help us to plug in another point. So we can plug in any value for x as long as it is less than 0, because it tells us here x has to be less than 0. So negative 1. Sure, let's plug in negative 1. So I have 2 times negative 1 plus 3, which would be 1. one. So I plugged in negative 1 and got positive 1. Now this second point just tells us the direction of our graph, so it's not going to be an open or closed circle here, it's just our graph is going to go through this point. So we go to the left to negative 1, up to 1, put a dot there, and then we just connect the two dots. We could have plugged in any number we wanted less than 0. I could have plugged in negative 4, negative 10, something, anything less than 0. I have no lower restriction here on this graph. Could have plugged in anything I wanted. So I have an arrow for this line. The line stops when x is 0 because I can't plug in anything greater than 0. But I could plug in anything less than it, so that's why it has an arrow on the other side. Is yes. So I just graphed my first piece. Let's move on to the second. What do you think the first value I should plug into my second piece here is? Zero. Zero. I always want to plug in whatever number it gives me. Zero. So I have three minus zero is equal to three. So I plugged in 0 and got 3. It's going to be my first point for my second piece. Do I have an open or closed circle at this point? Closed, closed circle. Wait, it's open or closed whether the sign is equal to. Yeah, so this one has a greater than or equal to. The equal to means that it's closed. So I go to 0, up 3, put a closed circle. What shape is my graph going to have here for the second piece? Linear. It's going to be linear again. So I know I'm going to have a straight line. For my next point, I could plug in anything that this satisfies here. So any number x is greater than or equal to 0. I plugged in equal to 0, so I can plug in anything greater than 0 now. One. Let's plug in 1. So 3 minus 1. Hello which would be 2. Yep, we plugged in 1 and got 2, so 1, comma 2. Is it going to be an open circle? Like, what do you do with the rest of the point? 
for the second point, it doesn't matter because you're, that just gives you the direction of where you're going. So we're going to go to the right one up to, and then just connect the two dots. So our graph goes this way. That's it. Sometimes you'll have to plug in more. If our graph wasn't linear, like if we had a parabola or something to see like what our graph is doing in between the points. So you may have to plug in more than two, but for linear ones, only two is good because you just connect them with a straight line. Maybe. A parabola. So graphs have different shapes depending on like the parent functions. If it was like y is equal to mx plus b, just an x and an plus a number or whatever, nothing crazy happening to that x, it's going to be a linear graph. If you had an x squared graph, it'll look like a parabola, so that u shape. Um, let's see. The next one is the square root of x. Square root of x looks like this. There's another one in the notes that's an absolute value graph. So absolute value. Anybody know what shape an absolute value graph has? A V. So it's kind of like a parabola, but it's more of a V instead of a U. What shape does x cubed graph have? It's kind of like a snake graph. So it helps to know like the general graphs, our parent function graphs is what they're called. Um, if you don't know them, it won't hurt you if you forget. You just plug in more points to see what your graph is going to do. Bless you. Okay, so 57 is a little special. Because we have square roots, so what can we not have under a square root? A negative number. So not only do we have to follow this restriction here, this one, we also have to make sure we're not plugging in negative numbers. So for our first piece of a graph, what numbers do we plug in first? Zero. Zero. So I'm going to have the square root of 4 plus 0. What's the square root of 4 plus 0? 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. So I plugged in 0 and got 2. Am I going to have an open or closed circle here? Open. An open circle, because it's just that less than sign. It's not less than or equal to. So I'm going to go to my graph down here. Stay at 0, go up 2, put an open circle. Now, this says I can plug in anything less than 0. So I could plug in negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Could I plug in negative 5 here? No. no. Why not? Because I can't have a negative under the square root. So what's the smallest number that I can plug in here? Negative 4. So when dealing with square roots here, you want to check the other side of it. So it tells us that we can't plug in anything bigger than 0. x has to be less than 0. But we also know that because we have a square root, we can't plug in anything smaller than negative 4. So the next point I'm going to plug in here is negative 4. So 4 minus 4, which would give me 0. So I plugged in negative 4 and got 0. This graph has a curve. At negative 4, 0, do you think I have an open circle or a closed circle? Closed. Closed, closed why? Oh, yeah. Because I can plug in negative 4 and it works. I just can't plug in anything smaller than negative 4. I can't plug in negative 4 and a half. So it's not about when you put it, but what it gives you. Right, it can't give me a negative number under the square root. So I have a closed circle here. 
Usually the second point, it doesn't matter if it's open or closed because you just go through it. But here our graph stops at this point. We know we can't just go through it because we can't plug in anything smaller than negative 4. So my next point is going to be negative 4, 0. I'm going to go to the left 4, stay at 0. And this point's included, so I'm going to put a closed circle here. Now I know my square root graph has a little bit of a curve to it, so it goes like this. Any questions for the first piece? Does it matter how the curve is? Is it something like an arrow? There is no arrow because it has a stopping and a starting point. I can't plug in anything greater than zero. I can't plug in anything less than negative four. So that's why there's no arrow. Because I can only plug in numbers between negative four and zero. Good questions. All right, let's do the second piece. So what's the first thing I should plug in here? Zero. Plug in zero because it tells me to. So I have the square root of four minus zero, which would be two. So my first point is going to be zero comma two. So I have an open or closed circle here? Closed. Closed because it's less than, or greater than, and equal to. That equal to means it's a closed circle. So at zero comma two, I have a closed circle. Now square roots are a special case, so I have to be careful with the second number that I plug in here. I can do four. Can I plug in anything bigger than four? No. Nope. So four is the biggest number I can plug in, so that's going to be the end of my graph. So I want to plug in four. So four minus four is zero. Square root of zero is zero. So my next point is four comma zero. Do you think I have an open or closed circle here? Closed. Closed. Because four is included. Because I can plug in four and get a number that works. A real number for y. So I'm going to go to the right 4 and stay on 0. And then again, my graph, since it's a square root graph, is going to have a little bit of a curve to it. So there's my graph for 57. All right, so here we have three pieces. Doing the same thing, just one more piece. So for the first piece, what's the first thing I should plug in? 0. zero. So I have 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. I plugged in 0, got 3 for y. Do I have an open or closed circle here? Closed. So at 0, comma 3, I have a closed circle. So I stay on 0, go up 3, closed circle. I can plug in anything less than 0. Geo says negative 1. So I'm going to plug in negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3, 2. So I plugged in negative 1 and got 2. What type of shape is my graph going to have at this first point? Linear. So I know I'm going to have an arrow that just connects through these two points. So I don't have to worry about the type of dot in my second point that I plugged in because my arrow is just going to go through it. So I'm going to go to the left one and up two and connect my two dots. How do I know that my arrow is going to go left and not to the right? Matthew. My x values can't be greater than 0. I thought you just go in the direction that the points are going. You go in the direction that the points are going, yeah. But if you, what if you put started here and went that way? If I would just do wherever I started and then my second point follow right. it. Wherever you started and then just follow it. Your x just can't be greater than 0, so you're not going to go to the right. All right, next piece. What are the two numbers I should plug in here? 0 and 2, whatever it tells me to. What do I get when I plug in 0 for x? What's y? 3. Three. There's nothing to plug in here. It's just a constant. No matter what your x is, your y is going to be 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. Do I have an open or closed circle at this point? Open. Open because it's less than. And then what about when I plug in 2? What do I get for y? Three. So I have an open or closed circle here? 
closed because it's less than and equal to. That equal to means that it's closed. We get, you have to like plug them in for both, like for the zero. Like when you have a middle piece, you want to plug in the two numbers that it tells you. So this one and this one. So you have, you have to use the number that was greater than zero and then use the number that was less than or equal to two to like find the two points. We use zero and two. So you just use the two numbers that it tells you. So let's plug in put those two points on our graph. We stay at zero, go up three, leave an open circle. And then go to the right two, up three, close circle, and just connect those two dots. Anytime you have a constant number, your graph is just a flat line. Any questions here? How do we know that we didn't have arrows for this one? Because it gives you two restrictions. It says your x can't be anything less than 0, can't be anything greater than 2. Your graph only works in between 0 and 2. So you can't put an arrow and make it go to infinity. It's just between these two points. All right, third piece. What's the first thing we should plug in here? Two. 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 So I have two times two minus one, which is three. So I plugged in two and got three. Do I have an open or closed circle here? Uh, open. An open circle. So let's go to my graph. We go to the right two, up three, open circle. What else should I plug in here? Three. Zero? Is that what you said? I said three. Oh, three. Yeah, zero wouldn't work. It just has to be anything greater than two. So three works. So two times three minus one. Two times three is six. Minus one would be five. So I plugged in three and got five. So I'm going to go to the right three and up five. And these are just like no in between them. So this is linear. It's linear, so do I have an arrow or do I just connect the two dots? Have an arrow. I have an arrow because I could plug in anything greater than two that I wanted. I could have plugged in, I plugged in three, I could have plugged in four, I could have plugged in ten, I could have plugged in whatever is bigger than two, so I know I have an arrow. It's just going to keep going forever. Uh, and then the square root one, like in 57, it couldn't be an arrow because it's square roots have an extra restriction to it. Because your square root graph, the y, is never going to cross, like it's never going to be negative. All right, so this is the notes. Any questions?